picture. Oh, here we go. Did they tell you a story about this Jeep? Tell me. When Faith and I were dating, she was my, it was my first headline and tour, and she was my opening act. And I wanted to take her out to have a, a cheeseburger together. And I have a car. So I asked around, and I saw this red Jeep sitting there, and it was a local stagehand. So I asked him if I could borrow his Jeep. And so he let me borrow his Jeep, and we went out and had, had, uh, had a, a cheeseburger. And on the way back, I pulled off on the side of this cornfield. And I told her, I, that's what I told her. I'm like, I'm flat in love. And, and um, either we're going to have to figure out a way to make this is going to have to be a permanent relationship, or I'm going to have to get out. So fast forward to our eighth or 10th anniversary or something like that. I go downstairs in the garage and this Jeep's sitting down there. She attracted it down and one. bought the Jeep yeah, from the guy. The Jeep. She went and found the guy and bought it from him. So it's, it's the Jeep that sealed our fate. <laughs> Sorry about the bumps. Oh, pretty up here. I mean, that's hard to beat Tennessee, huh? How often do you actually get up here? Not, not, not as often as I'd like, for sure. At this point in my career, I feel like I'm getting an idea of what I'm doing. I'm getting an idea of how this all works. I don't think that I figured it out. I think I'm probably you know, about 30% there, maybe. And I think that there's so much more ahead of me. Every time you reach a horizon and you think that you're going to see the valley out before you, that there is another peak. Yeah. You hope that that's the case. Because when that's not the case anymore, then it's time to stop. I don't know that I'll ever say I'm retired. Just part of me thinks that there comes a certain time for what I do where I just, I'll feel sort of like a fool with tight jeans and a cowboy hat on stage, dancing around like a chicken. Of course, you could tell when I was first learning to play on this guitar, I played all the time. And You know, you play five sets a night or five hours a night, seven nights a week playing these clubs. And I would even sit when the band was all taking a break, I would sit and play guitar and sing songs. And then as soon as I could afford to pay an extra guitar player who played all the acoustic parts, I really never played anymore. Let's see what I can play. I can play, you know. Baby, don't leave me. Please turn around and do me a favor for my world comes crashing down. I'm a music fan in general. I mean, great records are great records are great records, no matter what style the music is. But I think country music in particular is the stories and the heart that goes into it. What we do as country singers really started as just a way to tell great stories, and it developed into this music that's really part of the fabric of America. Hey, baby, can we talk it over? And how can love be so blind as to turn a cold, cold shoulder? Leave my breaking heart behind. For me being an artist, to be a musician and playing music live, it's just taking people out of what bothers them in life and putting them in an instant and in a moment that they can let that fall away and bring some happiness to them. So girl, without a doubt, you've turned my life around, put my feet back on the ground, and I ain't worth a damn. Without you, no, baby, I ain't worth a damn. Without you.